Imagine you're a small business. You have maybe 10,000 uh, customers who you deal with on a regular basis. That's the lifeblood of your industry for your profit. All of a sudden, you come into your business one day and those files are totally encrypted. What do you do? Ransomware is probably one of the biggest threats that we are currently seeing in relation to cybercrime. It's a real problem, particularly for the small and medium businesses. They don't have backups, they don't have extensive IT departments to try and support them. Ransomware, in effect, can lock down their entire customer database and have a huge effect on their operations. We're in the 21st century now and technology is becoming ubiquitous. People aren't robbing banks with guns anymore. They're using USB sticks, they're using malware to do that. So the No More Ransom initiative is absolutely key because it actually provides the ability for people to be able to access a portal and ability to be able to download free decryption tools without having to pay criminals. No More Ransom is a platform. It's a single source for everybody to go to to give you advice on how to prevent ransomware. But equally, if you are caught by ransomware, it gives you an opportunity to download a solution to unencrypt your encrypted files. Every time law enforcement detect people with keys, we put it onto the database. Our key relationships with major companies allow us to access data that they access as well. And through this, we are able to assist companies and indeed individuals. At Amazon Web Services, uh, security is our top priority. So when we see the rise of ransomware attacks across the globe affecting individuals and businesses, uh, including hospitals, universities, and even police agencies, uh, we're pleased to join in this project to help combat ransomware. We really had no idea the number of people that would be accessing the portal. We had no idea how many people would be downloading the free tools. You know, I was asked to make an estimate on that and I got it very wrong. The first day it had 2.6 million visitors. Our job is to handle that traffic, to scale up and to scale down. Let us handle the IT infrastructure so our partners can do what they do best. And you know, I'd like to thank the Barracuda team as well as the AWS team because they not only identified the solution, they implemented the solution, addressed any problems that, that were done, did the testing, did the vulnerability assessment, and then the site was made available in three days. AWS have been absolutely critical for us. And equally, their engagement with the marketplace, in particular Barracuda, was simple. So from our perspective, it's been a, actually a very easy interaction. It's been a very simple process. They've not only provided the platform as well as securing the environment, but actually they're a great partner in towards this long-term fight that we have against ransomware. It wasn't just their security posture, but in addition to that, it was their understanding of, I guess, the, the bigger picture. I mean, we had two individuals who were working around the clock to make sure that the site was not only up when we needed it to, but also that it continues to remain up. I mean, you know, that level of an attention to detail was really quite comforting for us. 12 million people have accessed this website. This resource will only continue to grow. We see more and more key companies and key relationships wanting to come on board with this. This is a really good example of corporate social responsibility. Those key relationships with large companies are where we can actually make things better for the public in Europe and indeed worldwide.